Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero. Are the ICP bulls back in control? Is this the start of a massive altcoin season? In this video, I'm going to go through all the relevant data, charts, metrics, and indicators. Especially, we are going to focus on the social risk, macro, ecosystem, and much, much more to understand is this a repeat from 2023 when ICP in October went from 3 to $21 is a 7x still on the cards. So let's check all the relevant data, let's discuss and let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. Okie dokie guys, as always, I will start with my community here on Open Chat. Still, we are one of the most active communities here on OC. So join me and join the revolution fully 100% on chain on ICP and on open chat link is down in the description below also I will have a lot of very exciting news related to my um, e-store however let's very uh, quickly go through uh, the relevant news that I have reported uh, yesterday and posted here on X so ICP is uh, constantly in the top 20 crypto projects in terms of core developers as you may see here a third pl place currently for ICP some people have uh, noted that ICP should be higher uh, than Cosmos here it's perfectly fine ICP is still uh, one of the top uh, cryptocurrencies in that regard so all good now uh, yesterday I also um, posted a video regarding that, that the Definity Foundation is restaking uh, tokens, which is obviously very, very positive. Their expenses are dropping, uh, revenue is increasing and overall they are very well funded, not only for the next six months or a year, but for many years to come uh, down the line. So very positive indeed as well. Yesterday I did compare ICP to Solana and uh, I will record many more comparison videos with other projects and I will show you which projects very very soon however if we just take a look and if you miss the video at the screen we can really see the difference a day and night difference in capabilities metrics if we compare ICP to Solana so very good to see as well uh, one more news uh, Swiss quote is now offering ICP so Swiss code, uh, Swiss code, uh, quote, I'm sorry, is a Swiss based financial and online trading services company that in 2023 reported net revenues of, um, 531.4 million Swiss francs, a pre-tax profit of 255.4 million Swiss francs and client assets reaching 58 billion Swiss francs. So this is a very positive uh, news for ICP as a whole as well. More listings are obviously beneficial. Uh, also, a uh, developer report I also showed you uh, here yesterday on X that uh, in terms of single chain developers, ICP is still one of the top developed project in the crypto space, as you may see in the last uh, three years or rather from Q1 uh, 2020 when ICP by the way, wasn't even launched. So basically from May of 2021 to Q4 of 2023, ICP has experienced a 1,750% growth in developer activity, which is extremely, extremely positive. And you can tell me, hey, but they didn't have so many developers in the start. Well, look at these numbers. Uh, this is already the top of the spec from 500 to 2,000 developers. So very, very good uh, indeed. Now, uh, next comparison video, let me know uh, what you want me to uh, record here. I have uh, various options, as you may see. Uh, for now, most of the people are leaning towards SUI. However, if you want Bitensor Tau, Near Protocol, Cardano, or maybe some other project uh, like, uh, I don't know, uh, some AI coin or token or whatever, just let me know here on X uh, in the or in the comment section on YouTube and I will take this in consideration. Now, let's uh, quickly move on to the other uh, most related news. So the dapping sector has been showing continuously accelerating social interest over the last month. Let's see how ICP is doing in that regard. Very, very good. 
a lot of mentions for ICP. However, Bitensor Tao is still on first place here. So if you wish me to compare Bitensor to ICP, just let me know. Now let's move on. A top real world assets projects by social activity. ICP is still one of the top projects here. AVAX, Chainlink, as you may see, still on top. However, ICP is also one of the top projects. So also very, very good to see. Uh, let's move on to something else. So nine new node machines have been added to internet computer subnets in the past month. This is absolutely positive for ICP as a whole. Now, uh, let me show you uh, the relevant data. Cycle burn rate is still high, still still higher than the 90 day average, which is good. ETH equivalent transactions uh, still elevated as the number of transactions also is elevated. We can check here uh, node machines in a subnets uh, increasing. Very, very good to see. Uh, supply of Chinky Bitcoin, Chinky Ethereum at all time highs and still increasing. Millions of instructions performed per second, also extremely elevated still. Total canister state, uh, we are quickly approaching uh, six terabytes here, so very good. Uh, let's move on to the total uh, amount burned. So yesterday we have burned, as you may see, around 3000 ICP tokens. Very good. Um, just taking consideration that, for example, in June and in July of this year, we have burned 1500 tokens per month. So in one day we have burned and it wasn't even a record burn day the same amount of tokens that we have burned in the um, months of uh, June and July. So this is absolutely insane. Very positive uh, amount of canister smart contracts still increasing, uh, which is very, very good to see. And all these other metrics, also finalization rate, uh, still very elevated at an all time high. Very, very good to see. So metrics are absolutely outstanding here for ICP as a whole. Now, however, let's move to the macro. Let's understand, is it go time? Is it really October? Is it possible now to do the same type of move that we did last year at 7x, moving potentially from eight to $50 uh, very quickly in three, four months? So um, fear and greed index still neutral. Did something change on a macro scale? Let's take a look. Um, Bitcoin uh, season still on the cards, as you may see, the altcoin season index is showing us that we are nowhere near close an altcoin season. Okay, now, oh, October, is it on the cards? So uh, Bitcoin flips a positive in October. I was um, talking about this potentially happening. I was talking about potentially uh, the whole rest of this year being positive as in the last uh, couple of election years this was the case so you may see 2020 very positive plus 27 percent in october plus 43 percent in um in uh, november and plus 47 percent here in um, December, so extremely positive. 2016, not so great. However, December was very good still. However, it was still positive. So um, I'm looking forward to a scenario in which we will have a good ending of the year. Maybe not perhaps these crazy percentages, however, still uh, good. And then uh, next year, we need to check what is going to happen with the risk on environment. I still believe we are going to witness a massive altcoin season, Q3, Q4 of 2025. So uh, overall, um, I'm still very positive on the market overall. However, also a little bit cautious because we are still in a transitional phase of the market. The economy is still not doing so great, but also not so bad as well. So overall caution. However, I'm uh, positive in the medium uh in, in, in the medium term, I'm fairly, fairly positive, extremely positive, I would say, and bullish for uh, crypto and for ICP as a whole. Now, uh, very quickly, uh, let's check uh, the total tree. Total tree, nothing really changed here. As you may see, we have been rejected multiple times. So we are pushing higher once again, and the market is getting excited once again. Can I track here a trend? Look at this uh, low. So um, higher low, higher low here. And if we now continue and create a higher high with a higher low, we can start tracking potentially a trend. However, I need to see a lot more.
energy a lot more strength so let's take a look at this move here from last year in october so this happened exactly in october last year can the history repeat let's see this move here this was 150 percent so these are very choppy moves now i need to see another very relevant move 150 200 300 percent to the upside and then we can discuss about the potential old coin season a loose monetary policy bitcoin dominance dropping to the downside this is just a corrective chop for now so i need to see a lot more strength and confirmation so a type of move that we have seen like uh like here for example and you may see there weren't a ton of retracements here we had one two retracements however mostly this was very impulsive now this is still very corrective okay uh, let's move on to the bitcoin dominance how many times the market got excited many multiple times in the last two and a half years still the bitcoin dominance kept on moving higher still the bitcoin dominance is at 58 percent people and investors could not imagine that the bitcoin dominance would push so uh, so much higher in the last couple of years however this has uh, this has happened and now i'm tracking a potential breakdown slowly but surely and if this happens this will be of course a sign of a massive old queen season to come bitcoin against icp icp is still in no man's land so no time to get excited time still to track undervaluation based on data social risk very interesting did something change so the market bounced uh some investors are getting excited did something change on the social risk absolutely not uh new uh, weekly twitter followers of layer one accounts still very 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 low same thing for layer uh, twos same thing here for uh, view, uh, youtube views and uh, new youtube subscribers of influencers we are still in no man's land we are still nowhere near close this height here for uh, for the crypto market okay so the tweet volume slowly slowly you can see here slightly started moving upwards for bitcoin for ethereum it's still bad nothing has happened look at this apathy this boredom for ethereum here so nothing really has changed as you may see on top of that i will show you the social risk for icp that is dropping significantly look at this drop here for both the, uh, the terms internet computer and icp this means that many people uh, once again checked out uh, the interest over time uh, dropped uh, is this negative well generally speaking if the pro project has good fundamentals if the project is still going to do something and i believe icp is going to do a lot in terms of ai in terms of many other narratives like gaming metaverses DeFi, and much much more fully 100 percent on chain this is going to move to the upside however i also did mention that whales usually like to accumulate when the social risk as at rock bottom when people um completely check out from the market so the best type of environment to accumulate is not when the market is dropping heavily to the downside not when there is panic after this panic usually there is a period of chop of boredom this is the time to accumulate and i will show you the chart this is exactly what is happening in the last couple of months before doing that still all these metrics extremely extremely positive look at this wall of green for icp uh, fees annualized uh, fees revenue and so on and so forth very very positive indeed okay uh, let's move on uh, to something else here also a revenue profile icp is still in top five layer uh, ones in terms of revenue in the last 30 days which is extremely positive this is something we could not imagine a couple of months ago when icp was in no man's land now uh, very quickly before showing you the chart uh, so icp currently doing fairly well on a daily basis however nothing to get excited about most of the ecosystem is green there is some red as well so we can check uh, the bubbles here uh mostly green couple few projects that are red however once again nothing big uh changed nothing big happened now a uh, very important and i will show you my accumulation zones levels are the bulls back in control absolutely not 
the reality of the thing is that we moved from three to twenty one dollars after that we dropped here we we had a correction a b c completed the correction here i believe on the 5th of july and after that we are in this accumulation zone in this chop so i did mention here that since the month of july since we dropped here down I did increase exponentially my DCA uh, amount just simply because I was never as bullish on ICP and I believe this project will do well in the long term. I believe uh, and I'm playing the passive income game here for ICP. So let me explain you what I'm currently doing. So uh, this is the most relevant level for ICP that I'm tracking around $6.75 is the last 786 Fibonacci retracement level. So between these two levels here of resistance or support, so between 6.8 and $7.5, I did increase my TCA amount by 10x. This is my epic 10x accumulation zone, okay? So if ICP drops here, I really accumulate a lot of ICP and I'm buying daily ICP, okay? Here in this zone between 7.5 and around $8.5, a 3x compared to what I was doing previously in July. So let's imagine just as an example, these are not the real numbers that I was buying every day, 10 ICP, just to be very simplistic. So uh, in July, uh, then after that uh, here, I increased to 100 ICP every day. Then here, if the price goes up a little bit, it's 30 ICP every day. Then if the price goes up even more as it is now between 8.5 and let's say um, $10 is a 2X, so 20 ICP and up to $12. So from $10 to $12 is a 1X, so 10 ICP per day. This is how I'm playing this game at the moment in this chop. Um, however, nothing really happened as I did mention. What are the key levels to track here? Uh, $6.75 uh, and the next Fibonacci retracement level is around $10. The 618, extremely relevant. We were rejected twice from this level. So this is the level that I'm tracking now and another epic resistance level around $12. So ICP really needs to be able to push through all these levels and only if, only if ICP can break $12 and not drop straight away and not be rejected straight away, but start creating some support over there, I will flip and I will become extremely bullish in the short term as I was bullish uh, last year, as I, will, as I was bullish last time around. So uh, what are uh, my targets to the upside? So this structure still looks corrective. This doesn't look impulsive to me. So I'm still very cautious and I'm still focused, uh, focused on accumulating as long as I can. If I start seeing some extreme move to the upside to $12 or even higher, then I can start flipping bullish and I can uh, keep on tracking my targets to the upside. Minimum target for the third wave is around $35. So yesterday people asked me, hey, will you be selling your ICP in the altcoin uh, season, in the bull market and so on and so forth? Of course I will. However, 70% of my ICP is locked, is staked 40% of that ICP is locked for eight years. And obviously I'm trying to play, as I mentioned, uh, the game of passive income for the future. However, 30% of my bag is currently um, not locked, it's liquid, and I will start selling these tokens at much higher price valuations. $35 is a potential target for me in that regard. I will update uh, my exit strategy when ICP will start doing better, of course, now uh, no point to do that. Um, and I will show you, I changed quite a lot my exit strategy. I wasn't bullish enough before, I'm much more bullish, so I changed a little bit my exit points. However, I'm still focused on higher in the medium to long term here. However, still, as I mentioned, extremely cautious and uh, not flying with my head in weird places, still with both feet firmly on the ground and tracking undervaluation based on data. 
Overall, guys, um, as always, if you like the content, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, check my community on OpenChat, on X as well, and uh, stay tuned for the e-store. It will be massive. I'm really working hard 12 hours a day to deliver in time. So I'm very excited about that. If you have any questions, let me know uh, down uh, below. If you want me to compare ICP to some project, let me know down below. I will add this project to my list and I will try to compare as many as I can so we can understand the difference in capabilities between ICP and this all others, AI tokens or blockchains and so on and so forth. Overall, guys, I wish you a very good day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.